Hi guys, welcome to AppyChip. This is the second part of the Forget tutorial which we launched on May 19th and in this tutorial we are going to automate the ECS Forget cluster creation using Terraform. So if you haven't watched what, Terraf uh, what ECS Forget is, uh, we recommend to watch the ECS Forget tutorial. The link you can find in the description section. So let's start. First of all, I want to give you a basic uh, explanation of what Forget is. So Forget is basically a compute engine for AWS ECS Elastic Container Service. In this, you don't need to manage EC2 instances and it helps you to scale the application very easily. So it has some uh, terminologies like uh, task definitions. So task definition is basically a text file in JSON format which describes one or more containers that form your application. So it can be considered as a blueprint of the application. Then the task. A task is basically an instance of a task definition. We are going to create all these in Terraform uh, using Terraform scripting. And uh, then comes one more uh, terminology that is cluster. So cluster is basically logical grouping of the resources that application will need and if you specify Fargate as launch type then the ECS manages your cluster resources you don't need to manage them explicitly uh, rather ECS will manage it and if you specify EC2 as a launch type then cluster will uh, cluster will be group of container instances that you need to manage so ECS won't manage the instances, it will be managed by you in case if the launch type is EC2. So let's go ahead uh, for now. This is the AWS account which uh, I'll be using. This is my account and uh, uh, let's go to the code base. I have put the code base on my git. So you can find all the scripts here. And uh, now let's go. and go through the code base. Uh, I won't be going uh, very deep through the code because uh, uh, I assume that you are a bit familiar with Terraform. So we have uh, divided our uh, creation of cluster in uh, different files of Terraform depending on the, uh, on, on, the uh, on the type of resources that AWS has. So uh, we have one for auto scaling, one for ALB that is application load balancer then uh, one for all the ECS related resources and uh, one for network and so on so the very first thing that we are going to see is the provider.tf file so in provider you specify and tell the Terraform that uh, which provider you want to work on so in our case it's AWS and uh, uh, the AWS credential of my account is stored in this file so it's gonna read it from there the next thing is the variables.tf file. So variables.tf have all the variables that we are going to use in uh, all the other Terraform files. So we have the region in which we want to create the cluster. We have specified the value here and uh, the ECS task execution role name and its value. So the, the ECS task execution will uh, need a IAM role to perform some operation and this is the role which we will be using then uh, the, availab uh, uh, the availability zone count and the number of AZs which we want that is two the image so we are going to deploy an nginx image and the application port which is 80 and the app count that is the number of docker containers we want to run and the health check which uh, uh, we will be performing to check if our application is healthy or not is the root uh, that means uh, just the root domain we are going to check uh, as a health check endpoint then how much amount the uh, it needs uh, how much amount of cpu it needs how much amount of memory it needs so here we have specify all the variables and their values next thing is the network.tf so what we are doing is uh, we are fetching AZs in the current region and once we have uh, those data we will be using them uh, to create uh, required AF VPC and subnets. So we are using the resource AWS VPC 
and the CIDR block that is the IP range we will be using will be under this and then we are creating certain subnets here and uh, we are also uh, using internet gateway for public subnet and uh, we will be also using uh, elastic IP and uh, the net gateway and route table so all these uh, are the required uh, things to have uh, when we are creating a VPC and we will be having subnets and we are going to create the cluster inside that I assume you know all these basic things uh, and you can also go through uh, the required values uh, through Terraform documentation here I'm going to focus more on the ECS part so the next thing is the security.tf in this uh, we have specified certain security group and uh, uh, we are telling from where the uh, the traffic should be open so these are the security group we are creating and uh, then the next thing is the ALB so we will create a load balancer as well and behind which there will be targets uh, on which our application or containers will be running so we are creating load balancer and assigning it subnet and security groups and we are also uh, telling the port we are creating the target group and uh, we also specifying the health check and uh, uh, whatever port will be open and where to uh, from wh what are the on which port uh, the load balancer is going to accept the uh, traffic and direct it to which port of the target so here we have all the ALB related definition the next thing we have is ECS.tf file this is the main uh, file related to our ECS cluster so now we are creating the ECS cluster we have specified the resource AWS ECS cluster and we have given it a name my app cluster now the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to specify the task definition we need to specify the container so we have uh, put it in a file and it is inside templates ecs my app dot json dot tpl so this is the file and here we are saying uh, we are giving it a name and the image we are going to pull up from the variables which we have defined the cpu memory and all the related stuff we are using from the uh, the variables dot tf file here we are also storing the logs to AWS logs group and this is the one which we have created in another file which is logs.tf and we are mapping the port the container port will be app port and the host port will be the same app port which we have defined in the variables.tf file now coming back to ecs.tf file uh, the data is gonna read from this uh, myapp.json.tpl and we will be using this uh, in in the task definition next thing we are going to do is we are going to uh, specify the task definition and uh, it is uh, uh, it's going to use an IAM role which we have already defined and uh, the network mode is AWS VPC and uh, the required compatibility is as Fargate and the CPU it's gonna use is the where.fargate.cpu it gonna take it from the variable part which we have uh, specified here and uh, then the container definition which we have specified in the myapp.json.tpl next uh, we are going to create the ECS service in which we will uh, we will specify that uh, which task definition to use the resource is AWS ECS service and uh, the cluster is this which we have just created and the task definition is this which we have created just above and uh, the desired number of count is gonna uh, get it from the variable and the launch type we are specifying here is Fargate so remember as I explained if we specify launch type as Fargate then the instances will be managed by the ECS itself now the network configuration uh, the subnets and security group and auto signing the public IP we are setting it to true and we are also specifying the load balancer to be used with the required details like target group container name and uh, the container port now comes the last part depends on depends on are the resources which uh, terraform is gonna create first 
before creating this ECS resources. So we are explicitly telling uh, Terraform that these ECS related tasks depends on these. So it should create first these or wait for these and then create this particular resource. So after ECS, uh, we are going to create auto scaling file as well. It's auto scaling .tf, uh, where we have specified the resource AWS app auto scaling target and we have specified the resource ID and uh, the scalable dimension and minimum capacity, maximum capacity. Uh, you can check all the details of these resources in the Terraform documentation and uh, then we are going to create the auto scaling policy as well which have certain rules based on which it's gonna uh, increase the resources and uh, it's also it will trigger a CloudWatch alarm and based on which uh, the action will be taken so uh, I'm not going to discuss the auto scaling part here in detail, but you can definitely go through the documentation. Now after auto scaling, we have logs.tf. Here we are uh, setting up the CloudWatch group and log stream, and uh, we are giving it name ECS my app, which we have used in my app as well, ECS. AWS log group and uh, we are also recreating a resource AWS CloudWatch log stream. After this, the final thing we are going to create is output.tf file. So at the end, what we are going to do is we will fetch the AWS load balancer endpoint on which our application will be live so that we can access that endpoint and try to access if uh, the and check if the application is working or not so let's go ahead and check this in action so first of all you need to do terraform in it to initialize this uh, this terraform uh, directory as a as a terraform directory which i have already done then you need to run Terraform plan to check what all resources Terraform is going to create. So it's going to read your all the uh, Terraform files and it will create a plan and will tell you what all resources it's going to create. So it will tell you like it's going to create the route table and then uh, this it will create a security group as well and everything every resources that we have specified it's gonna tell you like what all the things it's gonna create after that finally we will uh, run and run these terraform through the command terraform apply it's actually gonna create uh, though these resources which we have specified in the terraform files So it says Terraform will perform the action described below. So you need to enter a value yes if we want to accept and approve. So I'm typing yes, hit enter and uh, it's gonna start creating the resources. So now it's gonna take some time. So I'll pause the video and then uh, I'll resume after it finishes off. So guys, uh, the script is done and it has created and has given the output of the ALV host name. so let's see if it is working so our application should be live on this hooray we are, have got the home page of nginx so our cluster is running let's see the resources it has created so go on cluster and we have one service and three running task and here is our task definition so it's active it's running so overall as you can see uh, the apply is complete and it has created 32 resources 
and these are the logs which it has created so this is how you can uh, create and automate the ECS Fargate cluster using Terraform I'll put the links of uh, the github repository as well as I'll be creating a blog to share the steps in detail and I'll put the links in the description section of this video and I will also put the link of the requirements that is uh, Terraform installation and AWS uh, CLI setup to be used uh, for the credential purpose uh, uh, in Terraform. So I'll put all these links in the description section and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Keep, le keep learning, keep sharing. Thanks for watching.